Look, that's me. That's really me. Wow. That, that's not. Oh, look at him. This is my game, Sky Panda. I made it a long time ago. My brother, thank you very much for playing and watching. And, yeah. Go play my video game, please. I worked very hard on it. I did. I worked very hard on it. It was very good. It was very hard. And so Look. Thieks brother wanted to make some of the levels freaking ridiculous. Well, so did I, but that's just game dev. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> Look at this. Look how polished this all is. He's pixely as fuck. What are you talking about polish? Yeah, because you can make him pixely. Look, <laughs> our, most games' quality meter just lowers the quality. Ours changes the whole game. It changes parallax. It removes things that are unnecessary. Damn, we're good. <laughs> Do you like the back button? Right, you're in. Do you think you remember how to play? I think I remember how to play this game. It's been a long time, but uh, I think I've mastered the complicated controls of Sky Panda. Or as some places like to call it online, Drunken Panda. Yeah. And they're not wrong. The story of Sky Panda is this is Mark, and he realises that he went out on a bender and just abandoned his quote-unquote loving family, and he's like hours late. Yeah, it's like the next morning, and it's like, where are you? <laughs> and you're in. <laughs> I think we got this. You'll notice, up isn't jump. We had advertisers tell us, please make up jump, and we said, fuck off. <laughs> we got paid like less money for this game because of that. Yeah, it's and like... I don't care. I don't like updates. That's why I remember it this long later. I don't like updates. Because I don't care. I just don't like up being jumping games. It's just confusing. Me either. Anyway, the intended way here, you have to do a whole jump. It's just very basic yeah, game shit. You can't, you can't tap jump to get up there. Yeah, you've got to learn that there's a tiny jump and there's a big jump. But there's all that crap over there, which everyone figures out, because you should go this way. We, it's a secret. Play stamp a secret music. You found the box. Thanks for noticing. You've really done it. You're really playing video games. I am. <laughs> a lot of these levels are very easy. I do kind of wish we made them a little, not harder. I wish we put the cooler stuff early. Like, yeah, like I... here, here, this part's teaching you that. You're not going to jump through that. Yeah, you, you can't do that. Spike's bad. I love that part. And then if you're smart enough, you then you can go up and around. Also, we put cool things in the game, like... Like this bee. No, he is cool. Depending on what side of you he is, you hear the sound from the left or right speaker. And oh. that's true of all the waterfalls in the game and anything that makes noise in the game. Oh, that's cool. So, Zeke, do you have a favourite level? Ah! Yes, and I will tell you why when we get to it. Okay. I really like the whole game. We worked really hard on it. I love these things. They're pretty cool. Look how fun these are. Look at the butt sparkles, guys. Yeah! <laughs> Wee! Oops. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes. <laughs> and... You might notice if you zoom in, Mark's a vector, he's smooth, and you'll notice the levels aren't. And that was to, basically vectors are um, resource heavy, so it affected the performance to have all these vectors on screen, so he turned them into images. But normally the game is played at this resolution, so you don't Ooh. notice it. Yeah. But we're playing it full screen today. Yeah, playing it full screen, show it off. Bye bye. Bye bye. Look at that, we got rocks in the parallax on this one, just because that we wanted them as decoration. Yeah, well, it's great. Like, the more it goes on, the more everything but, changes to show you that, like, yeah, the world's kind of falling apart, man. Well, those eagled eyes, those those with eagle, those of you with eagle eyes may have noticed that the sky is slowly changing. <gasps> the gradient is getting different. Yes. Like, we just wanted every level to be a little later in the day. Yeah. We... That's it, get the secrets. Yeah, I'm getting all the secrets. I'm spoiling where everything <laughs> is. I think it's been long enough that I can spoil all the secrets and mystery and wonder of Sky Panda on new grounds. You found this, some paper. There's secrets in this that I think almost, I think maybe nobody ever found. Fuck, I have to do it again. That's something I would change if I made this game again. Mm -hmm. Once you got that thing, 
You get to keep it. Oh, yeah, because now it's gone. Yeah, I always hated that. But like... it's... There's no, there's no other consequence for dying, so what's the consequence, right? I, Pers mean... I can see why we did it, but I think I'd change it now. Yeah, personally, it's just like, are you pulling my fucking leg? Because I just went out of my way to do the thing to get the stuff, and now you're telling me that wasn't enough? Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, here we are. We're in the midday stages. Yeah. The music's changed. Yeah, it's where the game starts getting a little harder. That's it. Don't look at that one too hard. Whoops. <laughs> if, if, if you guys want to, like, try and beat our times... Like, best of luck to you. Oh man, yeah, I, let me just show this off real quick. <laughs> Who's got the high score on new grounds? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a really good username. I really like Flashband. <laughs> such a good username. That's an incredible username, <laughs> man. Fuck! <laughs> it's really cool seeing Skypander again, because there's lots of change. And me and my brother really want to make games again, because we both... You know, had to like get jobs and homes and shit. Yeah. So he couldn't just make flash games. Yeah, they're hoping to make us. A... We're hoping to make a game. Do you want to know what I would change in this game? I know, I know. They should get squashed. Yeah. I put spiders in there. We always joked that you should be able to squash them. And then when we released the game, someone ran over and went, at one. And it should have squashed. Yeah, it should have right. squished. Go with your gut. I know it doesn't matter. Do it anyway. <laughs> also, fun things that people won't know about the game. The game has a wind value programmed into every level. So, on this level, for example, the wind isn't very strong. It's not affecting this fire very much. Yeah. But the cloud speed and particle speeds, like, the particles are affected by the wind and the clouds are affected by the wind. Every level is a unique one. And, like, it, it's proportionate to the wind sound effect that plays as well, like, it adjusts the volume or something. We put a lot of effort in yeah, strange that's, places. Yeah, that... a lot of polish. Yeah. <laughs> and I tried my best to make these little levels look like, uh, little islands or little, like, structures. Yeah. Like, they are background elements and stuff. I made all the sound effects myself. Mark's running sound effect is part basketball, part water droplet. Oh. That's what he is, is... The boo is a water yeah. drop. But he has, like, the hum of a basketball going tink. Nice. That's his sound effect. Oh, we're in. Yeah! I love his face there. Oh, I'm gonna show a big secret. Oh, this is like the biggest secret. So, there's this here. That's not the secret. Most people would be like, excellent, I got the secret. And then the challenge is to try and get back out with it, right? Yeah. No, that ain't the challenge. We. Usually, there's kill planes where you just hit a box and you fall and die. Mm-hmm. Except here. Where this is the achievements menu in the game. Yay! Golden statue. Yeah, golden statue means you found the, the achievement room. That's the secretest achievement in the whole game and I just told you how to get it. It's been long enough. But I wonder how look, many people have that. Nobody's ever been here. Look how much effort we put in. Each of these updates in real time. If you come here and you don't have an achievement, it's locked. And if you do, it's unlocked. It's not like a static asset. Mm. This is actually the achievements room that we load on the menu. Like to, to the menu. It's see, it's this. Beautiful. Do you and think now you can you've got that permanently. Do you think you could get all the achievements? All the achievements, no, because one of them is pure luck. One of them is pure luck. Oops. I didn't mean to hit you, game. Fuck! Well, <laughs> I'll do this real quick. The colour's glowing on the rocks. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And, like, it used to be out of sync, and then I made it not be. <laughs> was that the hardest part of game development? No, the hardest part of game development was when we decided not to use a tile engine because we didn't want to make spend very long on this, and then we did. But because of that... The whole game was a little poorly optimized. Basically, I had to like, most games are built where every tile, 
the tile is the hitbox, so the game is made of like a hundred little squares, right? Mm. I had to find big groups of squares and turn four squares into one because it was lagging the game out otherwise. <laughs> and normally you shouldn't have to worry about that, but that's just how we did it. And we knew it was a problem, but it worked. And that's how you make games, even games you're proud of. You just, sometimes, especially when you're learning, you just make them work and you learn from that and to implement it in years time. You, you don't have to do it today. Yeah, you commit to having a tile engine in the future to save time. <laughs> yeah, and now we're building our own engine. So fuck yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, don't look at that again. Me and Eric used to do it this way. This is the cool way to do it. Do you want to do the level the cool way? Sure. Like that. Ooh. You don't touch the ground. That's the developer approved way to play this level. So you can't just saw something that you'd hate. What? I saw the seam in the clouds. That? Okay. Because people are going to see this in the video. Let me point it out. That seam in the clouds is only there because we're stretching the game out for full screen for YouTube. It doesn't exist at this resolution. Okay. At this resolution, the game runs perfectly. It was designed to be that resolution. We're breaking it by stretching it out. Okay, because I was going to be like, I can't believe you let that slide. I didn't. <laughs> and it wouldn't be there if they were vectors. It's there because they're two, like, images and, like, you know, sometimes they have sub-pixels that sort of dither between each other because they've got... I can sort of see that. Like... Yeah. Yeah, right. You get it. I get it. I want to play the game big. I want to play Big Panda. Big games are better. That's why everybody loved Five Nights at Freddy's. Because he was big! The security breach was so big that, like, even, like, the streamers with the best gaming PCs, like, it would stutter. That's not because it was so big, it's because it was so poorly optimised. There's a big difference. <laughs> even when we used to speedrun this game, this level was usually my first death. Yeah. This part here. I would restart, like, my speedruns of it if this level fucked me over. <gasps> but your speedrun's based level to level. Is it? Oh, maybe, maybe I didn't then. You don't have to restart at all. It's um, your total best times ever ah. equal your speedrun for the achievement in, in this case, game. I just hate this level. <laughs> you probably tried getting the achievement and being like, no, that's too slow because it wasn't tight enough. Yeah. Okay, let's get this. And actually leave with it. Let's leave this place. Ugh. But all these little bits Mark's picking up, he's picking up, um, there's a good and a bad ending in this game. He's picking up all the little trinkets he needs to give his wife a present. This is one of my favourite levels because Mark has a bounce. When you jump high, he bounces and you can move when he bounces. And we made it matter and we needed to teach people how to do it. So this level is only beatable if you jump at this. We scratched our head for hours trying to teach that. Yeah. And everyone we've seen in videos play this level got it right away. <laughs> we were so proud. We were so proud because we didn't think it was going to work. Yeah. And then there's this one. you got to hammer it home. Oh, look. The fireflies are starting to show up. Oh, yeah. No more bees. Now you got to do it yourself. <laughs> and people get it. Yeah. And the fall is long enough that you can't land down here without bouncing. It's impossible. Hell yeah. Is that the first time it. one of the exits has been sideways as well? Maybe. I love how fast you respawn in this game though. It, we made sure that that wasn't a problem. In games where you die a lot, you need a quick respawn. Like, just don't dick me about menus. Exactly. I have a question about these uh, red banners around the place. With the Zeds on them? Yeah. I was going to say, are they Zeds or are they creases in the fabric? They're creases, but they look like Zeds. Yeah. Call that my signature. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, that thing at the in the credits, that's also my <laughs> signature. <laughs> oh, this one's one. good. I've and you should have killed one. a spider there. Yeah. We should have done it. Extreme. Oh, this is an Easter egg that people won't know about until the game comes out, so I won't even say. Oh, okay. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, we've got the name tag. Do, do, do. Fuck! But yeah, you gotta go back into the stream, catch yourself up here, and do it again. Cross the streams, go back in, got it. I know the graphics are very simple in this game, but I really like how our water and stuff looks. 
I like that the tiles have depth, even though it's only just, you know, making them 50% grey. Yeah. It won't take me long to beat this game. No. And it's a nice one to do a full episode on. It is, yeah, because, like, I can imagine, like, all the thoughts and feelings you've got flooding back. Shit! Yeah, like, how hard it is. Yeah. The important thing had to be that we were willing to play it. If it's hard and not even we're willing to put up with it... Then who else is gonna, like... And we made it a little too hard. Turns out me and Eric, me and my brother, we have, uh... Shit. (laughs) I would have died if I went with that one. Me and my brother have a very high tolerance for our difficulty in games, it turns out. We love it harder than most. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm somewhat the opposite. It's like, if you make it too hard too quick, then I'm out. And we should have put some cooler stuff earlier. The, the early part shouldn't have been boring. It should have just been easier. Yeah. And that's the mistake we made. Yeah, also, can I just say, this level is quite easy and fun to do when you're not stopping to get the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, this is the challenge of this one. Yeah. Is you have to, uh... That's the one! Oh! Oh, You got your toes. You gotta not clip the walls, that's the key. See? If you clip it there, you fucked as well. We're in, we've done it. I like all the animations, too. I know he's just, like, you know, being, like, keeper. Like, being flash, squash, and stretched everywhere. But... It was a two-man game. Yeah. Two-man game with you and our friend Mark, who we named the panda after, helping, um, you know, helping bug test and help, you know, play test and everything. Then there's a freelancer being used for music. And then we hired a musician. Yeah. Oh, here we are, the last stretch. Oh, excellent. Oh. I did always love the music for the final levels. I love the music in this game in general. We wouldn't have put it in if we didn't. Yeah. Oh, the, this is Eric's... This level's a little infamous in my fucking house. Oh, yeah. House. This is a level my brother made, and he made it way too difficult originally, and he really wanted to... It's not yeah. changed very much from his original design. It just it just got made fairer, right? Yeah. And we, and we all agree on that now. But he was so mad about it. He's like, I'm not changing it. It does exactly what I want. And it's like, Eric, I played that level for an hour. So I mean, one hour to beat it. And every other level is like 10 seconds. Yeah, no, I, I remember because it was like, we had this down to just like, a, it's done. Just, we're, we're through it. And then the next half of the level came and it was like, well, oh. <laughs> fuck me. I know that if you fuck it up, you can sort of... um. The way Eric used to do it is he'd flip himself back in. He'd do he'd do the cool way like that. Yeah, I think I always just used to find it easier just going straight through. It is easier, but Eric liked doing it the cool way because we played it so much. Like you should keep your momentum there, but you don't have to. Yeah. I think we made a really good game. I'm still very proud of this. No, I think Sky Panda's a solid game. If only we made it, like, when people still gave a shit about Flash games and not at the end of Flash's lifespan. Well, that, that was it before then. You were just, like, kids, and it's like, I want to develop my craft before I put anything out there. Everything I made, I felt like I wasn't good enough to release yet. Same. Oh, this one kind of stinks. Oh, yeah. This one's a really unfun one. I wish I didn't do it. This is the level where it's like, man, I wish you'd just let me keep the item. Yeah, you can't get up there. We made sure you can't. Challenge accepted. Yeah, Yeah, if you think you can get up there. Basically, where the gaps are in the mud or something, that's where where you you should press jump. Oh. We just put little clues, little things to look out for. Is that just this level or is that every level? Every level. Every level, there is usually a visual clue where you should be making your jumps if you're so inclined to look for them. Okay, that's neat, that's neat. So oh, that... okay. Okay, we can do that, no problem. So now we can go back and do this. Yeah. We made sure that you were allowed to practice before you came and got these. Yeah, oh, but also um, this shows off the wind you were talking about. Look at that fire. Yeah, and the clouds are going the opposite way. Yeah. Fuck, that was stupid. <laughs> See, this is why I regret how we did it. Mm. This should have stayed open, and if you left the level, you should have had to come back and do it again. Yeah, like, if you're still trying the level, it it feels like a punishment for the player. We should have just put something on the HUD. 
that just said like, yeah, you uh, you still got it. Yeah. <laughs> right, just one more uh, one more item. Yeah. Oh, this one's fun. <laughs> it is fun. You gotta you gotta fight this uh, thing the whole time. Oh, so close. <laughs> I love this. But level. yeah, I I do remember this level. This level was fun. Yeah. yeah. Get in. I still know how to play my video game. I remember this level being a pain, not hard. No, no, but I think it's essential to have one that's just overwhelmingly these. Yeah. Overwhelmingly these, like these zippers. You really, you really do need it. Yeah, you spend most of this on just fighting an uphill battle. Oh. Yeah. You gotta bounce. Look, look how fast the background is here. Mmm. I love this level. It's got really good flow. Me. Yeah. <laughs> getting the good ending. Du, 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 du. And we're getting the good ending, so you guys are free to get the bad ending and don't have to put up with some of those. Yeah, if you guys just want to play through for fun. You don't have to get the good ending, guys. Go see the bad ending for yourselves. Yeah. You unlock it permanently on the um, on the main menu once you've seen it. Oh, it's like a clip to watch. Oh, this is Mr. Insane's Wild Ride. <laughs> That's what the level's called. Oh, are you sure the level's just not called Anxiety in Spike form? No, it's called Mr. Insane's, but the official full title that we never wrote anywhere, but it is true, is it's called Mr. Insane's Wild Ride. I'm still really proud of the work we did on this. I know it's like, you know, like these zippers are very crude. They could have looked a lot better, but man, we made a complete game. It has a start, middle and an end. Yeah, you made a complete game with, like, a ton of mechanics. We like, couldn't think of anything else we wanted to teach the player when we were done. Yeah. And that's what we aimed for. Yeah, so it's just like... You're teaching them about every mechanic you've Oh, added. yeah, this one. you got to thread the needle. Yeah. Pop yourself. See, you gotta, you've got you got to learn how to do it the cool way. We <laughs> want you to be able to do that. Get good at it. Yeah, you you got to get into the flow. That one, you can't hug the wall. No. That's the secret there. Don't hug walls, kills your momentum. Usually, yeah. More so the corners. It's why some parts of the game, you'll notice like, oh, that part looks like it used to have a corner and doesn't now. And it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's probably because it did used to have a corner. <laughs> yeah, it just made the game better when we removed some of those. There was one in the level called Torn Town. Oh shit, we're here. Oh, here we go. Second to last level. No one ever sees the last levels. This level's great. This is what Zeke wanted to do more of in the start. As you climb this giant tower, you'll notice everything's getting quieter. It's like when you climb that level in Banjo-Tooie. Mm -hmm. Or Banjo-Kazooie, I mean. Yeah. There he is. It's the pipe. Ah, there go my headphones. Oh. Isn't it neat? It's super neat. I'm really proud of this game. And it's got two cutscenes at the end. And we made it in about a year. And fun fact about this level, the other level's in the background. Yeah, the one that, you were just climbing up. That's exactly the same level you were just up. I made sure it lines up perfectly. It's a bit of a trial and error one, but I try and lead the player with it. Mm. Oh yeah, you, you unlocked that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show that real quick too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it had to be the same animation. How it, else do you know what it is? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> It's got this sad Sky Panda music. <laughs> Big happy family. It's not. The dad's dead. <laughs> it's the end. And look, you unlock the movie, so you can just watch it anytime. Hell yeah. But now when you start a new game. Oh my god, you're Super Mark. Here we go. <laughs> look at this. That's all that's different, but isn't that cool? <laughs> Such a cool little panda. When you die, <laughs> his glasses do that. I spent ages making sure the sheen's correct in that. I don't just rotate the glasses and the sheen moves still. Yeah. The sheen is correct on them. Oh. Eric called me a lunatic for doing that. 
Because <laughs> like 0.01% of the players see it, and it's like, well, it has to be right, though. Yeah. It's fun with a lot of game development. It's like, there's no point doing that. Hardly anyone will see it. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, so it's like, so we should make it bad for the people that do see it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should. I agree. Hey, I got one more idea before we call this quits. Okay. Oh. So, we just want to show this off real quick. Because we were talking about Skypander and everything. Who's, it, who's that crazy character? Dude, that's Velocity Wing. Wow. This is a game that me and my brother made for the um, for the Flappy Bird Jam, the Flappy Jam on Newgrounds. Yeah, we made our game Velocity Wings inspired by Sonic, whereas Flappy Bird's inspired by Mario. So we're fast, you get rings, you run on water, and then you just look at it. Mm. I fucking love this. I think we make really good auto runners. The music's great too, but I want to really quickly say I'm really sorry because the guy who let us use the music, because like it, we, we made it in two days this, we made it for um, a game jam, which is literally a weekend project, and um, some guy let us just use his music and the song was called Velocity Wings and we were like, oh, that's what we should call our game, and we just did it, and then he sent us a message saying like, we hadn't thought about this, he was dead right to, I'm not saying he wasn't. We just never thought about it this way. He sent us a message saying, like, now when people search for that track, they're going to associate it with your game, and, like, it's going to be harder to sell it. Yeah. And it, we asked if he wanted to change it, and he was like, no, it's fine, but, like, you know, learn about that. Yeah. <laughs> and we like... did. We never <laughs> forgot that. I'm so sorry. Like, the music's perfect for it. We... I, I'm really impressed with how we built this too. We built, we put some really impressive tech into this. We made branching paths. Go fast! I will. I really like this game. We made another one. We made this one called Runnerist. Can I full screen it? I can't full screen it. Ah, uh, okay. We made a little auto runner, and the theme was minimalism in this game jam. Mm. So we just thought, let's make a really minimal one. Uh, that jump is really tricky. It is tricky. It's a tricky game. Most people don't fill up that bar at the bottom, oh, but they should. You've got to fill up the bar at the you've bottom. You've got to fill up the bar at the bottom. You've got to fill up the bar at the bottom. Now, I've seen some people get confused when they've played this. Like, I filled up the bar, but nothing happened. Why, why didn't it happen yet? How the game works is it it picks a little level that gets, you know, pooped out in front of you there that you run through, mm -hmm. just off screen. Once that bar's full, you have to clear what's loaded in. As soon as you, as soon as you clear what's loaded, you're done. It'll um, it'll do the thing. <gasps> we will get to see the thing. I didn't see the thing. I'm not that bad at it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, and then you got to fill the bar again. The whole game is based on that. We want it. Oh, that's my least favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> that one too, actually. Those are my two least favourites. The whole game was based around, you know, minimalism. So we were like, well, what if we just use all the space we have? Yeah. And that meant using the ceiling. And it was like, just flip the assets. It's um, surprising enough that even though it's not technically different, people freak out about it and go, that's cool! I've seen so many videos of people thinking that it's really good. Yeah, and it's just like, well, you're just running on the roof now. <laughs> Well, me and my brother love Sonic games. It's no wonder we make good auto runners, right? I know auto runners are pretty easy to make, but like, I think we make really fun ones. I've played a lot of shit auto runners in my day. Yeah. And the music plays backwards. Oh, I've got the music play backwards. There we go. Excellent. Isn't it? Mm. That's just uh, that's just the game loop. That's just how you get a good score. Also, every time you you play, the music starts at a different place. Oh, that's cool. Because we didn't want people to just hear, like, the... Imagine it's Mario music, we didn't just want people to hear... <laughs> and instead of hearing that again, you're hearing something else. You're in another part of the music starting in a good part that we personally selected. Oh, so when you die... Idea. It keeps it fresh. So when you die... Look, that's something else you haven't heard. Yeah. It's not boring. It doesn't feel monotonous. Anyway, I guess that'll do it for new grounds. Yeah. Have you felt going back to your old games flexing a bit? Weird. I feel old. I feel like <laughs> I'm evolving into a new man. I feel like I'm breaking new something. Turf.
New turf. I feel like I'm being new turd. Oh. <laughs> Newgrounds! They wrote some stuff under the tank!